Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Well, you guys, that time is here. We have some new sewing patterns early fall. <laughs> it's really hard to believe. I feel like I just wrapped up the summer patterns and specifically the McCall's. I feel like the McCall's release for summer was relatively like later in the season. And so this, I mean, it's probably been a month maybe um, since summer came out. So fall is here and I'm excited to see what they have for us in the way of some early fall patterns. So I'm assuming these are supposed to be kind of transitional between summer and fall. So depending on where you live, some of you could be making these now. If you're in the Southeast like me, it may take a little bit longer before I can will myself to make long sleeves. Um, but I'll try and keep an open mind. All right. So this very first one is a maxi dress it looks like it has some actual seaming details here a big sleet a uh, sleet a big uh slit uh some kind of maybe a bishop sleeve and a wrap with a tie okay i love the shape of the sleeve though um, here's a sleeveless version cute it has elasticized waist also i'm assuming and this one obviously has this really large ruffle flounce dumahick technical term dumahick here's a flutter sleeve one maybe even some gathering on the shoulder which is a really pretty detail yeah then here's the one with all of the gathered panels and then here she is modeling it cute little setup for the background Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything particularly bad about this. Um, I think it could be a great little silhouette for uh, later in the summer, for sure. And then to have this little bonus summer pattern is really nice. Um, I'm not, I think, I feel like this skirt, even in the maxi version, is a little on the slim side. You know, it's not one of those maxi skirts that's going to be super billowy. So for those of us who are pear shaped, you would probably need to consider some fullness in some way. But other than that, I think that it's pretty good. Nothing jumping out at me, that's for sure. Uh, loose fitting pullover dress in two lengths has elasticized waist, bodice and skirt flounces, multi tiered skirt with or without contrast has front slit and belt. Also has a center back seam for the skirt, which makes it nice and easy to add some fullness for your bum. So you could add width this way and fullness through here, through like a full seat adjustment I'm talking. The belt is separate, which I don't, also don't see any um, little belt loops or anything like that. Not super hard to add them, but it is a nice detail. Oh, something I didn't realize is the contrast is kind of like offset. That is interesting. The ruffles in general are all offset. Let's go back. Let's go to this one. Yeah, I definitely didn't notice that. That's interesting. I don't know. Is that, does that look like a mistake? Possibly. I mean, it looks all right in all one. Well, you can't really tell there. And here's one and the, the second one and then the third one down here. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. It might be just like a little too designed, like over designed, like thinking too hard on how to make it unique. Fabrics would be crepe, cotton blends, Georgette, and stable knits. Great. You just need some elastic and bias tape, maybe. It's only half an inch, so it must be for this. How do you get into this thing? Pullover dress, so it's not that. Half an inch. Oh, 
one and a half yards of half inch. Okay, that makes sense. So one and a half yards might be the neckline, guys. I don't love that. But it sure does make for quick work. And then no information at all on finished garment sizes or measurements. So, and then they have the two sizes, 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. I'm going to check out that. Where's the sleeve? Oh, there's the sleeve. Oh, so it's not a bishop sleeve. It's just a longer flutter sleeve. Okay. Well, that looks like it's going to get into absolutely everything. <laughs> but that's just a personal preference, I guess. All right, here's one. They've been doing a lot of these lately with the kind of, I don't even know if this is considered empire waist or if this is just like a shaped waistband. I don't really know. This is totally see-through. But um, I do like this silhouette for myself. Um... I'm trying to think of who it wouldn't really work on. It's really kind of an interesting take on fit and flare because you're fitted through the waist, but then not really fitted anywhere else. But the waist is the part you want to accentuate anyways. It can go a little uh, Victorian corset. So you just want to be careful of your fabric choice. But I like this fun sleeve detail. I've never really, still haven't totally gotten on board with the, super funky sleeves but not that i'm opposed to them i just haven't gotten around to it really all right here's the short sleeve version with a little tie kind of a forward shoulder here with some gathers and then you have your bust gathers which is a very beautiful detail it's like in lieu of darts you make these little gathers all these buttons kind of a i guess it's a gathered skirt too this one's really pretty. You could make this out of absolutely any, like, lightweight. I mean, it'd be perfect in a chalet, perfect in a crepe. Beautiful. I love that. Oh, here's one with a collar and a longer length. That's interesting. I don't hate it. Certainly don't have anything like it in my closet now. Oh, come on. Let me just climb this ladder in my heels and my dress. Yeah, they had to give her a little, like, slip thing so that you couldn't just see straight through her dress. I don't really know what they were thinking with that. That is not a good look. I don't recommend that. I would recommend sewing it in a fabric that's not sheer. And if you do sew it in a fabric that's not, that is sheer, underline it for crying out loud. So yeah, there are definitely some options that I can see myself making here. And I already have some fabrics in my stash that I think would work well for, definitely for this one. And I don't see why I wouldn't make that one. And this one I would definitely consider. So I am going to start adding the ones that I would purchase to my wish list so that at the end of the video, you guys can get a recap of all the ones that I will be purchasing. Won't that be fun? A new little element to our little adventure here. Okay, so next up we have another dress. You guys know I love dresses, so I don't hate that there's a million of these dress options. This one looks like it has, let's see, lined, perfect, fitted bodice, great, with hook and eye closure, center back invisible zipper, and length variations. So it doesn't say anything about this. So I'm assuming it's just a regular, like, little ruffly sleeve cap thingy and then maybe some bodice starts a waist seam or maybe it's princess seams we'll have to look whenever the fabric's not so hard to read and then this beautiful little slit I kind of love the length if I'm being perfectly honest I don't I don't hate that at all um, D, I'm sorry, B has sleeve with ruffle, D has armhole ruffle, and left front slit, so she must be D. And separate pattern pieces for the different cup sizes, that's great. 
All right, here it is. Okay, so actually it's pretty basic, guys. This is a skater dress pattern. They've been around for years and years and years. And this is also called a dirndl. I think it's also called a dr dir. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember how to spell it. But yeah, very basic. It just has your uh, bodice pleats from the side seam and from the waistband. And then this one has the kind of princess seams or a paneled skirt, and then a kind of basic sleeve. Uh, crew neck, rather high, which is appropriate for early fall. Here's the sleeve with a ruffle. I mean, it's a great silhouette. Is This is going to look amazing on every single body type in existence. Um, it's beautiful. It's classic. If you don't have a pattern like this in your stash already, um, I highly recommend grabbing one. And this, oh, what? <laughs> That's why it says closures. Well, that's fun. Um, I was going to say, here, let's go to the line drawings. Are any of the backs full? No, they're not. Okay, I was, gonna, I was just about to say this will be a great one because you have so many options. Sleeve, sleeveless, long sleeve, three-quarter sleeve. You can do anything because there's already a sleeve that's drafted for this. Um, but because of this detail, you don't have a full back piece. I mean, it's not impossible to just draw in a center back seam here but um, if you want to keep it super simple there are others that you can find that are completely just basic this one is a little bit extra but it is real cute has the side seam pockets and you know what it's really annoying to me whenever I know I have a good jillion different patterns with this front silhouette I don't have anything with this back silhouette and I'm sure I could figure out how to do it on my own but you know what sometimes when the patterns are on sale like it's just easier to pay someone else to do all that work for you oh man that is real cute real cute oh darn so I know a lot of you were like but you can't wear a bra what am I gonna do um, you have a couple of options because it's lined. You can sew in some cuffs into the lining, no problem. You could even sew a shelf bra into the like front. So the elastic wouldn't go around your back, but it would definitely kind of provide some support in the front where your breasts are anyways. Um, so don't write off back details wholly. You just have to do a little bit of work. All right, crepes, cotton blend, chalet, stable knits, and then lining fabrics, perfect. Little short zipper and two hooks and eyes. Your sizing is six to 14 and 14 to 22. And look, it doesn't even take two yards of fabric, barely two yards for the upper sizing. Perfect, and then look, here's your, okay, so we have your bust measurements. Um, <laughs> the lower edge width, which is just hysterical to me. And then the length, which, I mean, that's nice to know when you're actually making it. It doesn't really help me decide anything when I'm buying the pattern itself. All right, next up, this is probably going to be a knit, I'm guessing, based on the silhouette. So you have a long sleeve. Oh, it's actually got like a little, oh God, I don't know what kind of sleeve this is called. It's like kind of poofy here and then fitted from here down. That's kind of fun. Really pretty neckline. I don't think there's any seams in here at all. Pretty straightforward. So yeah, there's a the sleeve again, but this one just has a little cuff. This is definitely a knit. Oh, that's pretty. You get a little bit of ruching at the bodice there. Nice. Oh, and then this one is the first, the top part of the first sleeve without a seam here, just carried and tapered down. 
and also had a bateau neckline, I guess. Ready? Yeah. I don't even think there's a center back seam. I think all the parts are cut on the fold. That's fun. All right, let's go. Mo yeah, moderate stretch knits only. Front gathers with elastic. It's just like no, um, no description hardly at all. I wonder what that's about. Um, yeah, I mean, we saw all this already. So yeah, lots of different neckline variations. That's fun. They also, I feel like hers didn't have that little, but maybe it does have the little ruching. You just can't really see it. Yeah, fun. This would be a great contender for like double brushed poly knit. Um, cotton knits, jerseys, interlock. Oh, yeah, rib knit would be great. Really great. Um, you need a lot of one eight inch elastic front two and a half yards just for that i don't know about that maybe there's some in here a and c let's look a and c i can't imagine why you'd need two and a half yards of elastic for c it's de there's definitely a typo all right, you have two size combos, extra small through medium, and then large to extra large. And then here are your fabric requirements, like hardly any at all. Look, measurement at bust line, measurement at hip line. Perfect, love that. Um, so I would have to grade between a medium and an extra large, which actually isn't that bad. Um, for a big four sometimes it's like well I guess technically the number sizes so but anyways it's fairly in easy enough to blend between two from because I would go from bust waist hip <laughs> um, so I would do medium to large large to extra large like that but that also means I need to buy two of the same pattern which is annoying so Anyways, cute little knit dress. All right, next. What is happening here? Okay, okay, so we've got kind of a lot going on. So this has like a ruffled neckline with some cording and then gathers along here. Is that like a little, is that a belt or is that sewn on waistband? I can't tell. And then you have ruching in the sleeve and then maybe a little band. Okay. What is this? <laughs> I'm confused. It's three different fabrics. Why is it look, I don't know about this drawing. Okay. Um, but it is like a sewn on, it looks like the inside, does it not? Um, this is a sewn on waistband which is nice it also has like a uh, handled skirt and then this one they added a ruffle to the bottom also has a long sleeve with a uh, elasticized little cuff and then it also has this little necktie here it is kind of in its more basic form with a slit beautiful i love this little neckline here Ugh. Does anybody in 2019 look at this and think, I need to have that? Okay. <laughs> um, kind of the perfect fabric application, I feel like, for this sample. They did a good job on that. I also just love these muted colors for fall. See, now it ties. We got to look at this little belt thing a little bit closer in the line drawings. Loose fitting dress with elasticized waist and sleeves. So they're calling them waist ties, which makes me think that they're sewn in partially and then 
loose. So they tie in the back. Um, and sleeve variation. A has trim details, lower ruffle, bias tape for sleeve casing. B has neck ruffle, cording for necktie. C has contrast details, collar extending into necktie and a lower ruffle. And D has contrast overlay in a left front slit. Contrast overlay, like a sheer element? See, I'm thinking that the belt is sewn on from here to here, and then it's loose everywhere else, and so you can tie it, which is nice, especially for those of us with fluctuating waistlines. And I mean fluctuating throughout the day, not throughout the month. Um, yeah, this, I think, I must have like some sheer overlay or something, which is, that's kind of fun. We'll look at the fabrics here next. Yeah, so fabrics are crepe, lawn, crepe de chine, and chalet, and then overlay for D would be a sheer. So you could have a lot of fun with that. There's a lot of really great sheer fabrics out there these days. Um, you need some elastic. You need single fold bias tape, purchase trim, and cording. I need to remember that. So yeah, you kind of need a little bit of fabric for this one, um, just because there's just so much volume everywhere, volume in the sleeve, volume in the bodice, volume in the skirt. And then those that have these little, that are, you know, floor length are going to be even more. So you can get away with, let's see. So C needs the most, it's almost, it's a lot, almost three, almost four. Um, but, so is D. So, yeah, you kind of just need a lot of fabric. A is going to be your least fabric hogging, but you could also do A without all the trimmings, you know what I mean? So, let's see what they've got in terms of measurements. They've got nothing. All right. Not getting out into the bag, but it is really cute. Next is the sky. Another dress, oh. Hmm, okay. So we've got a crossover, like faux wrap, into a gathered waist seam. Is the skirt a wrap too? I can't tell. And then you've got, I can't even tell what's going on with the sleeve. This might be all one. Each, the bodice and the sleeve are all one, but it creates this very voluminous sleeve, which I gotta admit, I kind of like this. This just looks super comfortable, easy to wear. Obviously, you can throw on leggings with it. I don't hate it. Very loose fitting pullover dresses have sleeve variations, neck binding, raised waistline, and narrow hem. Sleeve and hem ruffles and purchase trims. I figured out with all that. So, okay, so no, it is a raglan raglan sleeve and then you have self bias basically which they're calling neck binding um gathered waistline and also raised so it's a little bit higher than your natural waist and then this one has this little ruffle and then you add on this little trim here so there's lots of great trim out there that isn't so like loud and contrasty um, you can have a lot of fun with this, I think, and still look cute. Even if it were like a white on white situation, that would be fun. So this one has two sleeve ruffles and then the skirt ruffle. I'm, I'm making sure this doesn't look like a nightgown. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, look at that. Tell me you don't want to just wear that and just be in like pajamas all day, basically. I love the extended, um, this is just beautiful. I feel like you could really make something stunning with this, depending on the fabric, you know? And then I like this shorter length too, and I really, really like this sleeve. Yeah, there's the back. I mean, I think she's kind of holding herself in an awkward way, which is making this look funny, but I think, you know, normal you look pretty cute. I like it. I love this version. 
I love this version. I feel like in a rayon chalet or a crepe or something, it would almost look like a gown. Like you could wear it somewhere really fancy. Um, these two versions would be maybes. I'm not opposed to them, certainly. I think I kind of like this version without this. But, you know, let's look at yardage. Lawn, crepe de chine, chalet, Georgette. Okay. Lawn's a little on the stiff side, but maybe, but maybe. Um... What's flexible trim? Isn't all trim flexible? Um, oh, and it comes in letter sizing. So extra small to medium and then large to extra large. And then, so if I were going to make them medium, most likely, let's see if they have any measurements. Nope. So I'm somewhere between a medium and a large, probably, given that the skirt is pretty full. So yeah, two and a half, three yards, depending on the version. Honestly, though, three yards for this I mean, and depending on where you shop, you could probably get fabric for, I mean, you could make a dress that would easily cost like $250 for 30 bucks. This is getting added to the wish list. <laughs> added. I love this one. I actually can't wait to make that now. I don't see why I would wait. Love it. Okay. Okay. Got some funky, like 80s sleeves. I've seen this on some celebrities, you know, doing the talk show stuff. And it looks great on them with their little slim figures and not broad shoulders like, like I have. Um, but I reserve those comments because look, they made one for a full figured woman and it doesn't look insane on her. I think this is a different sleeve than this though. But the plaid is adorable. I'm obsessed with this in a plaid. I never would have considered that, but it looks really good. So you've got some front uh, fisheye darts. Fingers crossed they're in the back as well. Here it is in like a shirting. Yeah, and then different sleeve too. We'll look at the line drawings here shortly. I mean, it looks so cute on her. So cute, okay. Oh yeah, with the booty, fun. This is a very like fashion forward dress. This particular version styled this way and everything. It looks like we do have some seams in the back. That's exciting. I like it a lot in this like mini link that they have. They, this is, they did a good job with this. I know some of you are going, what the heck with the sleeves, but all things considered, this is a style right now. This is a look. This is something that people are doing and ready to wear. So I get it. I can appreciate it as a fashion item. That looks so good on her. I like this sleeve. This sleeve's fun. Okay, let's check out the line drawings. Yay, so happy. <laughs> it just makes my heart so happy. So yeah, I would definitely make this. I love this sleeve. I'm obsessed with it in a plaid. Obsessed with it in a plaid. I also love that it has these little angled side darts in addition to the fisheye dart, just extra fitting. And then this little like faux placket, or maybe it's real, maybe it's like a little button placket here on the side. Lots of great details here. I like this one, you guys. The more I look at it, the more I'm talking myself into it. I'm obsessed with this. Wool blends, cotton blends, poplin, velvet. Yeah, totally. I could also see this looking super cute with like some sneakers. Like imagine if she had like those white Chuck Taylors, the Converse sneaker. That would be so cute. And it just looks real comfortable to wear. So the sizing is 8 through 16 and then 18 through 24. So I would be in the smaller size range, most likely. Actually, I'm probably in between. Um, and because it's all one, hmm, I'd have to do some math to grade it out, probably. Easier to grade out than grade in, in my opinion. Easier to grade out a skirt than it is to grade in a bodice. 
I think. Um, do we have no measurements? Okay. Um, well, anyways, it doesn't take a ton of fabric, as you can see. Most of them are under two yards or right at two yards. All right, I'm going to add this one to the wish list dependent on fabric. If I can find a really great plaid shirting or poplin or something like that, I will definitely grab this. But it has to be one that I really love. And I feel like a gingham, it has to be a small, teeny tiny plaid like this. So good job. And I love that they made both versions, two versions of it. Very good. Very happy. Okay, oh, look how cute this one is. Oh, it's a Laura Ashley. Thank God they redeemed themselves from the last. Oh, I don't even, I, I'm having a, a moment remembering that. I need to like forget that completely. Okay, so this is like, um, I think this is all like the sleeve is like a ruffle or the strap is like a ruffle. And then there's a second ruffle. Ruffles on ruffles. And then squared off neckline which is nice maybe a waist seam and then a regular skirt possibly okay no it is a full-on paneled dress which guys these are incredibly flattering incredibly flattering on everyone yeah um here it is with that little sleeve thing that they're I don't know, the prairie vibe that's been around for a little bit now. Here's a sleeveless version. I love this. This would be great in a sateen. Oh, so good in a sateen. And then here's a long version. That's beautiful. A little bit nod. I mean, the 90s are like in full force right now with the neon and the fanny packs and everything else. So this is giving me a little bit of 90s vibes. Think of um like... Wasn't the, um, okay, so my favorite movie growing up was Pretty Woman, and I know that's not a great movie for, like, a young girl. <laughs> I didn't realize that she was a prostitute in the movie until I was much older, but I did watch that movie, like, on repeat, like, wore out the VHS, and I re remember that um, brown and cream polka dot dress. I'm pretty sure it had a squared off neckline like this one, when, the one that she wears at the polo match. Anyways. That's why I'm getting 90s vibes, I think. But the ruffle version is obviously, like, I'm going to love that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Got a great fit for sure. I haven't really seen many fit issues in the samples on this version, uh, this collection at all, which is great. Close fitting dress in two lengths, have invisible zipper and flared hem. B has a front flounce, C has gathered cap sleeve with elastic casing, D is front slip, A, B, C above mid length, mid knee length, and D is above ankle length. Okay. Yeah, this is happening. I would make this one, this one, and this one. Not this one. I, I don't know about this. I mean, maybe depending on the fabric, it would be really great. And then like an embroidered cotton or something would be really cute. Oh, okay, maybe I'll make them all. I like how the back is squared too. The back neckline is squared. That's really fun. Okay. My wish list is growing. Oh, did I look at fabric or anything? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. I'd already said I'm getting it, so I <laughs> stopped paying attention. Okay, crepes, cotton blends, yeah, lawn and crepe de chine. Yeah, I think the lighter weight fabrics for this little flouncy one, and then the other ones, you can, you can go into the cotton area with this, for sure. Especially, like, uh, the sateens and even the lighter weight cottons for that more prairie-like one. Okay, so invisible zipper, single fold bias tape, one hook and eye, and then some elastic for that sleeve. The sizes are 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. And then fabric, you need two and a half to three. And then the maxi version, you need obviously a lot more. And then no measurements. Cute. Okay. Next up, we have a fun little top. Mrs. Tops. Okay, um, 
yeah, I'm not really loving it. Maybe it's the fabric application. I'm not loving it in this shirting that they have here, but I'm trying to like, just look at the elements. So we have like a, a faced like color band kind of, and then an opportunity for some contrast fabric here. And then you have this like Star Trek looking with the sleeve, with the cuff, with the elastic waist, with the trim. It's just a lot. Like I can see it maybe if you took the sleeve off. I don't, I'm having a hard time with this one. There it is in some kind of cotton print. Doesn't look a lot better there. There it is with a shorter sleeve and they omitted that ruffle thing. Oh, and then they decided to put like, I don't know. This is it without the elastic, without the waist pulled in super tight either. I don't know, this seems a little uh, fussy, not all the way thought out. I don't know, maybe those fabric choices for the samples have just weren't. Hmm. Here's the back. I do like the teardrop keyhole, that's fun. Eh. Loose fitting pullover tops have long or above elbow length sleeves, sheer or non sheer yoke, back, neck, keyhole with button and thread loop, sleeve, cuffs, elasticized waist, and elasticized sleeve. Yeah, I don't know. This is, it's not. It's not me. As much as I do want some tops for the fall, I don't think this one is going to be it. The closest is this, and it's still not great. Cotton blends, Dobby, Lawn, Crepe de Chine, and then Contrast Lace. Um, you need a whole bunch of notions, and then kind of a lot of fabric. You can make a dress with this amount of fabric, you know? Maybe that's why tops don't always make it into my closet because I'm like, well, if I need two yards, I'm going to just make a dress. But, all right. That's a no for me, but maybe for you. Here's a cutie. Oh, look at that fabric. It's so fun with butterflies and birds and horses and deer. That's interesting. Okay. So we have a loose fitting kind of short, not necessarily a crop top, but kind of short hem. This is a dolman sleeve, I believe. And then like a little placket. I'm sure this is like a facing. There it is with like this ruffly thing into a tie, which I, I don't hate. There it is, it's just kind of like a regular button down. Regular-ish. This is everywhere right now. So this I can see being made up into 15,000 different <laughs> fabrics and different fabric applications. I see this on so many people. cute outfit and then a little back yoke with a pleat it's cute very loose fitting tops have yoke back front shoulder and back pleats and front button closing B has flounce and ties C has cuffs D has tie ins and C and D have shaped hemlines Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, man, okay, uh, I love this one, that's an obvious, but I think I would want to see the pattern pieces, and I would want to see if D has a different front with like an extension here for the ties or if they've literally just taken like you know left this fourth fifth button undone and tied it is it just a styling choice or is it actually drafted in a special way so 
pending that, I mean, I could see myself making all of these and wearing them like crazy with skinny jeans like she's got. Um, and that is more my style now that I'm not going to like a professional office every day. I wish there was like a maybe wish list. So I'll add it reluctantly. And then wait for it to show up at an actual fabric store so that I can go like look in the instruction booklet. Crepe, chalet, crepe de chine, lawn. Yeah, need some buttons, buttons, buttons. And then just an itty bitty amount of fabric. Yeah, this could be one of those sleeper patterns where you're like kind of on the fence about it and then you make it and you love it. All right, next up we've got, oh, okay. So someone actually tagged me on Instagram <laughs> upset saying that they knocked off my coral twist hem top. And I agree that they're, they probably could have chosen a lot of different colors and didn't have to necessarily pick a coral one. But I also believe that they probably selected this fabric and made this sample like late last year or at the very latest early this year. I don't necessarily think that they saw my top and were like, go find coral fabric for this. Um, this style with the little twisty thing has been around for a minute. Lots of indie patterns have been, um, making them. So these, I feel like McCall's a little bit late to the party with this, but they did make all those like twisty bodicey ones for summer. So maybe not. I'm not incredibly offended by it because I know that the way that it works, they would have had to plan this months and months and months ago. And even if they didn't, Flattery, what is it? Imitation is the best form of flattery, so I'll take it. Um, but I do love that pattern. Mine is from Itch to Stitch. Um, it costs a little bit more than this one would on sale, so, you know, keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I do plan on making some lightweight knit versions of this pattern that I already own from Itch to Stitch, for sure. So I definitely like this. If I didn't already have that one, I would be adding this to my wish list, but if you don't have one yet, I recommend it. It's very flattering how it kind of pulls up the hemline and shows off some more of your leg. We'll see some better pictures here in a second. But some other options with this one are a little cap sleeve, a three-quarter sleeve, and a little bell sleeve. So the sleeve options do not come with the indie pattern. So keep that in mind. But I like the long sleeve with it a lot. And you can see here, well, actually you can see here. So it kind of just elongates her leg a little bit, but still provides coverage. That's why I like it so much. And this looks complicated, but at least in the itch to stitch version, the instructions are very, very clear. I don't know how great of a job they do in explaining this um, in the instruction booklet for McCall's, obviously, because I haven't seen it, but it's not that complicated if it's explained well. And then here's the back. Yeah, close fitting tops and two lengths forms draped knot through front opening have neck band sleeve and hem length variation. Oh, I didn't notice the hem length variation. That's also nice. The indie pattern doesn't have that. It just has one length and I end up shortening it by like a lot to get it to hit like where hers is hitting. So, I mean, there's a lot to be said for the big four guys. Like you just get so many options and you really can, with a little work, um, make the version that you want. Um, okay, so then the different sleeves are also mentioned. So I'm not really seeing length variations, but maybe hard to tell in the line drawings. There you go. And then yardage wise, okay, so stretch knits, cotton knits, jersey, interlock, rib knit. Um, the letter sizing, extra small to medium, and then large to extra large. And then 
yeah, just a little bit of fabric. Cute. All right, next up is a Palmer plush pattern. They are known for having fitting tips um, and instructions and um, alteration lines drawn on the pattern pieces. This one, I'm not entirely sure what kind of alterations you need to make since it's so loose fitting, but they're there. Uh, close fitting, pullover topper tunic has drop shoulder and low armhole, sleeve variations, neck band, cowl, collar, traditional, or skewed. Okay. Not a silhouette that I love. <laughs> Period. Uh, like a cocoon shape. I mean, you can imagine if you have hips, how, I mean, she does not have hips and this is making her look like she has the largest hips. So if you are more boy shaped, maybe this would be good for you or if you're more full busted, but uh, what well, would that be an upside down triangle? Um, this would be good for you. Here's the cowl. There she is standing without leggings. Yeah, this is not, not for me. See, tissue fitting method. Okay. Um, here's the line drawings. I mean, I try to even like, maybe with leggings, but I just don't think I want this on my hip area. I just don't. And then this makes my top look larger than it is, and this is already large, then I just look large all over. Yeah, I think it's just not flattering for me. Uh, moderate stretch knits for sure. Sweater knits too. 8 to 16 and 16 to 24. Interesting that there's letter number sizing on this. You need quite a bit of fabric. Probably for that cowl neck too, for sure. And then the lower edge measurement and then the length measurement. Okay, where are we now? Okay, oh my gosh, is this on my fabric? Don't I have that? If not, that's very close to that. It was an M7774. Okay, you have top and skirt. So your top is a wrap with that really pretty like bishop sleeve. Did I say wrap already? It has a little band on the bottom with a button closure and I'm sure it buttons over here somewhere on the inside. And then your skirt has also a wrap four buttons and then two tiers but that right there you guys that is her leg so it opens up <laughs> you know what I mean like you can see in um here's the other one with the ruffle okay and then here's another version of the skirt kind of a tulip shape Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, hmm. I, I certainly think it's cute on her. Like she looks like a million bucks and super cute and fun. I just don't know that this fits into my life like at all. And I'm not showing my belly button to anyone. So maybe this is just reserved for 20s and younger. Not that if you're older, you can't rock it, but not with this, not me, <laughs> not me, but it is cute. And I can see people like Kyra Prosser, Prosser, I don't know how you say her last name. She would look fantastic in this. Um, the skirt boss, she would look great in this. Um, it just depends on your personal style and I don't feel like I'm, this is not me, but Fitted wrap tops have darts, various sleeve links gathered to binding, waistband with front button closing, flounce with baby narrow hem finish, 
waistband cut on cross grain. Okay, no provision made for lengthening or shortening above waist. Fitted skirts have darts, flounce variations with narrow hem, front button closing, separate pattern pieces for your cup sizes. I mean, even the skirt, I just don't, this would not look good on me. Imagine my large bum and then a seam right across the bottom of it. You know, like, no, not for me. Not for me. Cotton blend, crepe, sateen, and linen. And then some buttons. And then different um, fabrics for requirements for the top and the bottom, I guess. Oh, the tops are A and B and the bottoms are C and D. So these are your tops and these are your skirts. Hey, cute. This one's cuter, I think, than this one. But either way. Okay. Kalia Ali. I don't really know what she's known for. I haven't seen a ton of her stuff. Um, but this is a top tunic and pants. So the top has a mandarin collar with some kind of trim detail, a button placket, and then a curved elasticized waist, and then this asymmetrical hem. That's pretty. Oh, I love this girl. I started following her on Instagram. She's very body positive and inspirational, if you're wondering. I don't love this pant with it. I like the, like a more narrow pant. It just looks kind of old, like dotty, you know, like not young and fresh. There it is with a straight across, that's like the top with just the straight hem. Here are your pajama pants. <laughs> I'm just kidding. An elasticized waist pant. Yeah, I'm not feeling the pant at all. And this is starting to look strange. A lot of that ties in the back with a back yoke. Some more trim here, center back seam. I kind of just want to make the front longer and make it a dress. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then you don't have to worry about the pants. It just becomes a dress. But, all right. Very loose fitting top and tunics have self-faced yoke with forward shoulder, upper and lower fronts. Upper and lower fronts. Oh, upper front, lower front. Okay with inside casing for drawstring, neck band, front button closing, and narrow hems. A and C have sleeves. B, buy a state armhole finish and purchase trim. B and C, shaped hem, wrong side shows. C has a collar and side slits. Straight-legged, semi-fitted colon pants have elasticized waist, side seam pockets, and stitched hems. I mean, it's even cute without the tie, but it's cool how the drawstring is just on the front. I like this version. I don't know about this. This would be really cute with leggings, though, I think. or jeggings. How are those different? This B and C. Oh, the sleeve and the, and the trim? I guess that's it. Oh, also this looks different than B. Hmm. I really want to like this. Okay, I'm going to add it to the wish list just because it's a wish list and not actually a purchase. Oh shoot, I did that thing with the fabric again. <laughs> okay, hold on. 
The yardage is linen, cotton blend, crepe, pufflin. Of course, I would add shirting to that. Um, buttons, trim, bias tape, elastic. You have your sizes 8 to 14. I'm sorry, 16 and then 18 to 24. So I'd probably be a straight 14 since the skirt is so full. Um, and you just need a couple yards of fabric. Even for that long, crazy skirt, shirt, train thing. So that's cool. Okay. Next up, we have another little top here. Cute. I wish. So we've got, I don't know what this is called, but it's kind of like a collar that's sewn down. Kind of like a shawl collar that's sewn down. And then you have that, that kind of curved empire waist thing happening again. This is really deep. That's her bra right there. <laughs> and then obviously you can see through. I mean, it's not a button placket. It's just loops, loops and buttons. Um, they're doing the dramatic sleeve with the cuff. I feel like this is a little long on her. But, and then it hits it. The hem is at the natural waist, maybe an inch below. And then here it is with a little peplum. There it is, like hip length. And there it is with a little tie in the front that kind of camouflages those buttons. Different sleeve, a shorter sleeve. I mean, again, she looks great. That's a super cool outfit. I just don't know if I can pull it off. Where are the pants? Are we going to see those later? Yeah. Tops have gathered front and back. Gathered front. And back. I don't know what that means. Cell face yoke, button and loop closures, forward shoulder seams, and gathered sleeve variation and band. B has a flounce. Uh, a, B, and C have cuffs. D has a sleeve band, neck band, and ties in one. I want to like it, but I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, charmeuse, crepes, cotton blends, shally, your buttons, and then a little less than two yards, dipping to about on average two yards. You have your bust measurements, and that's it. Darn. Oh, here are the pants. Here are the pants. Okay. Pleated shorts and pants with yoke, mock fly zipper, and side slant pockets. I hate side slant pockets. A is has a cuff, B lower side pleat, A and B waistband with closure, and C and D have a faced waist line. So it has this little panel here. And so the pleats don't start up here. I can't think in my head if that's more or less flattering for someone with like a lower belly pooch area. I think you would want it flat there. That would be more slimming. And again, they look great on her, but I mean, she probably doesn't have a lower belly. <laughs> but like here, they look strange, right? And I think I would actually not mind the slanted pocket since it starts so low. I normally don't like the slanted pocket from the waist because it always puckers open, but it puckers open because of my bum. And I wonder if, because it's so low, it wouldn't do that. Um, but there's like the little cuff and also has belt loops. Supposedly this is a mock fly zipper. 
Oh, I don't really know how you get in to them. And it's kind of a tapered leg. This is one of those things that I would need to find in a store, or I guess I could make a muslin, but uh, it's still so much work to not even know if it's going to be flattering. The back just has single darts, it looks like. Oh, man. Again, I want to like them. She doesn't have pockets, does she? I don't think so. Oh, okay, I see. So this one has an actual waistband, and this one just has a waistband facing, but still has the... I don't know. I don't know. Leave a comment if you guys have any experience with these um, in terms of fit and how flattering they are. Um, I'm not going to add them to the wish list now. I'll wait to hear what you guys say, but I just can't tell. Um, here's the yardage. So wool blends, denim, gabardine, chino. Yeah, some of those like rayon twills would be really good. Um, you need one zipper and one button. Um, whoops. Oh, <laughs> the whole thing got shifted. That's funny. Um, so the shorts, you barely need any fabric. Are there two shorts and two pants? No. Which one? C. Oh, I guess if you're not making the waistband, you don't need as much fabric. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked you can make C out of one and a half yards. Super shocked. All right. Next up. Getting, yeah, we're close to the end here. Oh, it's a bodysuit. I love the bodysuit that I made earlier this spring. Like, a lot. So this one looks like it has, oh, it's a skirt too. I mean, I would never wear this skirt, but I don't even think it looks that great on her, to be honest. Like she is very thin. Um, so we have, what is this, like a mock neck and then long sleeves. We have elbow sleeves and a crew neck. There's the skirt. Oh, an exposed back zipper. Very loose fitting. Very loose fitting? I don't know about that. Pull on tops have elasticized leg and snap tape crotch closing. <laughs> Never said that before. Um, a has a neckband, B has a collar. Above waist fitted lined skirts in two lengths have front and back darts. An exposed back separating zipper closing. Okay. Two-way stretch knits only on the top and the skirt. Oh, this is fun. These two little darts here in different lengths, but real close together. Awesome. Two-way stretch, 50%. So not super stretchy. Rib knit, jersey knit, wool blends. This is for the skirt. Wool blends, faux leather, and denim. Okay, so not stretch for the skirt then. Um, C and D are lined. The skirt is lined. And then your snap tape and zipper and all that. So, I mean, one yard skirt. That's pretty epic. Yeah, so I mean, I would go all out and buy some really nice fabric for a skirt like this. Yeah. Not for me right now, but not a terrible pattern either. All right, now we've got 
a skirt. Oh man, that, that's a lot of really funky plaid. Okay, so waistband, button front, some kind of maybe side seam pocket. These are like forward. These are not side seams. These are like, I don't know, more forward than side seams. Here it is as a, is as a circle skirt and probably like a digital print linen. It's really pretty. They have a lot of those digital print linens at Style Maker Fabrics if you're looking for some. There's a really ugly version. Not ugly in design, just like who needs a maxi length, like beige <laughs> skirt. This almost looks like she used men's shirts. It reminds me of Paganunu and how she does her, like all her stuff is upcycled men's shirts. Yeah, I don't know. And then like the, you know, worn chambray shirt and then high heels, like I'm confused. Online skirts with length variations have front band and pockets. Yeah, gathered skirts have side front pockets. C and D, the circle skirt, have flared skirts with side seam pockets. And then A and C are above mid length and B and D are lower calf length. I wonder if I would be more successful, you know, the little A-line skirt that I made, uh, that I shared during You Made May. Maybe I need something more like a circle skirt. Maybe that will be more flattering. This is odd. It's supposed, it almost looks twisted, right? That's what I kept thinking when I was looking at her version, like her skirt's twisted, but it's really supposed to wrap around like that. That just looks like a really messy look. So, but yeah, I'd be tempted to try a, a front button pocket circle skirt. I don't know necessarily that I need to buy a pattern for it, so I'm not going to add it to my wish list, but something to consider. Cotton blends, wool blends, lightweight denim linen. Yeah, you can make this out of literally anything. Anything at all. I mean, even in like a chalet or something, it would just be like closer to the body. And heck, go buy some men's shirts, you know? <laughs> go make one from men's shirts. All right, five buttons or seven buttons. You have your letter sizing, extra small to medium, and then large and extra large. And then you need like two yards or less. Oh, look, a hip line measurement, which is pretty irrelevant since the skirt is so full. I'd much rather have a hip, I mean, I'm sorry, a waist measurement. But, I mean, it's better than just giving me the measurement at the hem. Who cares about that? All right, so we're going to skip over kids. We're going to skip over couples, although aren't they so cute? And then cute little, that's actually a really cute pullover. I would consider taking another peek at that another day. No men's clothes, no period clothes. Slash costumes. Wow. Okay, well, that is going to wrap up early fall for McCall's. I love how that rhymes. I am going to flip through this real quick to make sure they didn't leave anything out. But overall, I feel like we had a lot of really fun, cute, transitional patterns. Um, definitely some things that I'll be adding to my collection. Yeah, see, that's cute and comfy. Um, you know, they certainly all weren't hits, but they, it was kind of like a love hate either. Well, that's not true. I kind of was, um, on the fence about some of them, but the ones that I loved, I feel like I really loved. So excluding the two on the bottom. So only looking at these, these are the six that I added to my wish list from this collection. Probably won't buy all six. In fact, this one probably won't make the cut. 
and after seeing everything, maybe not this one either. But this is getting made. If I find the right plaid, this is going to get made. Love this, and this could be really cute too. So maybe four. Four is more reasonable than six. <laughs> Um, anyways, let me know which ones you guys loved. Um, try to give me some kind of descripting factor other than just the item number. I don't ever remember the item numbers. Um, but so for this one, say like white asymmetrical top or blue see-through dress or something like that so that I can know which ones you're talking about. But that is going to do it for this video. I'm going to try and get back to the lookbook quickly. Um, Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.